An air peace charter flight scheduled to evacuate Nigerians fleeing Ukraine from Poland has been postponed. According to a Ministry of Foreign Affairs official, Bolaji Akinremi, the flight was postponed due to a delay in preparing passengers for the check-in process. The flight has now been scheduled for Friday morning. Meanwhile, some of the stranded Nigerians are worried about why the government seems to be delaying in its evacuation plan as some of their foreign counterparts have been evacuated. Joining us now at this time is Ahmed Olaliko, a Nigerian living in Ukraine who is currently seeking refuge in Budapest, Hungary's capital. Ahmed, thanks for joining us on News Now. You're welcome, We've just heard that there's a postponement of the evacuation flights from Poland. I know you're in Budapest and there's been plan to evacuate Nigerians who have fled into Budapest as well. But how does, does this postponement come to you? Mm, the, postpon um, the postponement come to me not, not really happy what's going on between the crisis going on between Ukraine and Russia because it's, it's, been, it's been very stressful for us traveling from one city to another city and we've not been able to have our exam because we have an exam very soon in school. All right. Uh, you, you, you are now in Budapest, Hungary, and we do understand that the journey from Ukraine to the different locations where people have now fled into for safety, the journey has been harrowing. Do you mind telling us um, how you scaled through out of Ukraine? Yeah, I stay in Kharkiv. So getting out from Kharkiv has been very stressful. It's been up to four days for me getting to Hungary because from Kharkiv, so we need to board a train from Kharkiv to to we board a train going to Lviv and it up it up to like thirty one hours because actually it was it was a nice move. So on um, on getting to Lviv up to like thirty one hours so we got to Lviv in the midnight at two AM. So we was planning to go over to Poland but Poland they didn't allow Africans to come over to Poland anymore because people have been in Poland, but they are up to like three to four days. So we're trying to get over to Poland. Then we go on queue to enter the train going to Poland. But the, the police in Ukraine and the army, the soldiers, they didn't allow Africans. They said the woman have to go first and the people who, who have a baby. So it has been very stressful. So we, we need, I and my friend decided, okay, we should go over to Hungary. So from Hungary, so we bought from so from Hungary. So we bought another chain from Levy going to Chop. So from Chop, and I'm already getting to Chop from Levy to um, Chop. It was like four to five hours journey. So and I'm already getting to Chop. So we bought another chain going to Zaune, which is. Hungry border. So on our way getting to Zaouni, so we were highly welcome accommodation. They bring out food to the Africans. We enjoy each other. So on our um, so when we get to Hungary, so when we get to Zaouni, which is Hungry border, so we stay there for like two hours for us to rest, walk around the the city. So when after we rest like two hours, because we go to Zaouni. I think the time we go to Downey, which was late in the midnight, which is, I think, is, which is after 12. So after we waited for like two hours, we retained free accommodation. So the hungry government bring out a train going to their city, which is Budapest. So after around after 2 a.m., which is hungry time, so we put another train going to Budapest. So now we get into Budapest. So we get to Budapest very early in the morning. So when we get to Budapest, so there was free accommodation. They welcome every African, every even Ukrainian citizen. We are welcome. So now we get into Budapest. We are early welcome. So they they were even accommodation for students, and everywhere is good. All right, that's 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 great news that. 
you got free accommodation in Budapest, and yeah. that that was prepared by the Hungary government, right? If I'm right. Yeah. Yeah, it was prepared by the Hungary government. Even so, under, so what were the support? What were the support you got from the Nigerian government in in uh, in uh, Ukraine from the embassy? Were there any support for you for all of the moves you made till you got to Budapest, in Hungary? Um, I don't think maybe there is any Nigerian government who support the accommodation and every other stuff because I don't see anything about Nigeria over there. Because even at Budapest, their city, even their citizens bought out their food, their wear, maybe things they don't wear anymore, even money. So are you saying I that the embassy, are you saying that the embassy in Ukraine, the Nigerian embassy in Ukraine was not of much assistance to um, stranded Nigerians over there to get out of the war-torn region? Yes, ma. No assistant. No assistant from any Nigerian government, ma. Because now we get into Hungary. So the only way they assist us is it was the Hungary government, and they gave us accommodation for every student to stay over there for now. So what's your next line of action? What's your next line of action? What are you planning to do? Do you have? Uh, uh, I was just. I was, my plan is that I. I can't wait for Ukraine to get better and settle the crisis going on between Ukraine and Russia. So after settling the crisis between Ukraine and Russia, I would like to go back to Ukraine for my study. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.